Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to evaluate the impact on our market equilibrium when our demand and our supply curves shift at the same time. And actually questions like these can be a little tricky, even though they might seem kind of straightforward. And so what I'm going to do is I'll just go through an example. Hopefully you'll understand the logic and you'll be able to apply that same logic to your question at home. All right, so let's imagine that we are evaluating an increase in demand and a decrease in supply. So we're seeing what happens to equilibrium if these two things happen at the same time. And actually, the first thing I'm going to do is evaluate these effects separately. So what happens in each case with the shift? Ceteris paribus. The reason why I'm going to do that is because otherwise, there's the potential for things to get kind of confusing. And I'll show you that potential confusion later. All right, so let's go through the demand first. Well, an increase in demand means that for every price we demand more and we get a shift out to the right. As a result, our new equilibrium, well, its price has increased from P star to P star star and our quantity has increased too from Q star to Q star star. So I'll write those results here. Price and quantity and equilibrium have both increased. All right, so let's do our supply. A decrease in supply means that for every price, the firm supply is less. And so we shift our supply curve to the left. As a result, our price is going to increase. So we go from P star to P star star and our quantity decreases. So Q star star is less than Q star. So we can write those results here too. Okay, so what we need to look at here, if we want to figure out what we can say about the resulting equilibrium, if both of these shifts happen at the same time, is we need to look for the variable that is moving in the same direction in both cases and which variable is moving in opposite directions. And there's always going to be one of each. So in this case, you can see that both shifts are going to lead to an increase in price. And actually this means as a result of this, we can conclude that definitely if these shifts happen at the same time, the price is definitely going to increase. So I'm going to write that conclusion down here. But if we look at quantity, we can see that the two shifts lead to opposing effects on quantity. The increase in demand leads to an increase in quantity traded, ceteris paribus, and the decrease in supply leads to a decrease in quantity traded, ceteris paribus. And so if these shifts happen at the same time, actually we're going to say that the change in quantity is indeterminate or uncertain. Actually, it may increase, decrease, or stay the same. What will determine what happens to our equilibrium quantity is actually going to be the strength of the changes of the shifts relative to one another. And I can draw these out here to explain this very point a little deeper. So let's show a demand shift here and let's draw our supply shift on the same diagram. Okay, well, if our supply shift is kind of large relative to our shift in demand, so something like this, then our equilibrium quantity overall decreases. The price has increased too, and we expected that, but we get a decrease in quantity. Okay, well, if we shifted the supply curve a little less, so it's a little bit less dramatic, actually I can draw the shifts in such a way that the quantity traded in equilibrium has stayed the same as our initial equilibrium level. Our price has increased, but the amount traded is the same. Lastly, if it's only a really small shift in supply relative to the shift in demand, then our quantity, you can see here, I can draw it in such a way that our quantity traded in equilibrium has increased. So if we draw both shifts on one diagram, we can see the price always increases, but what happens to quantity depends on how I draw the shifts. Quantity could decrease, could stay the same, or it could increase. And actually this is the reason why the best strategy, I think, is to draw each effect out separately and look at each effect on its own. The variable going in the same direction, so in this case price, that's going to be our for certain effect. That effect is definitely going to happen. The variable that is moving in opposite directions, in this case it was quantity, well that effect is going to be uncertain or indeterminate. If we draw it all on one graph, the concern is that we might by mistake consider the overall effects that our diagram shows to be the only possible outcome. And potentially we miss the possibility that one of the variables, well, the outcome is actually indeterminate and dependent on the relative strength of the shifts. Okay, I hope that helped. I hope you understood and you can think about your particular question at home with a little more confidence, you can kind of get through it, or understand it a little better. 
Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Check out my channel. Check out my other videos. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys having a having a good time.